Hey everybody. Just sitting here. Hey, Chuck is joining us. How you doing, buddy? And now, uh, just sitting here with a cup of tea in the fire. Uh, Steve Tepper had asked me to go live. And uh, so maybe I thought I would. I've already made a cup of tea last time, a few times it went by, but I get to hear our uh, rubber ducky in honor of Darren Baker. And a little, uh, a little rubber ducky is where the tea is. I have some uh, chemo and tips here from on the way. Actually setting it down on a, on a Darcy made coaster, which I uh, don't know what the lighting's like, but you might be able to see a little. So, so that's kind of nice. And I um, thought maybe, since I've already made tea, maybe uh, we'll just write a poem, which uh, I haven't done before, but uh, I'll give you a little idea of uh, where my brain has been the last couple hours, where my mind has been. And talking about vinegar and extractions and herbs. Talking about death. Talking about meditation. Talking about bones. Talking about tissues. Talking about beavers. Talking about culverts. Talking about Healing. We've been been talking about tea with somebody. Uh, Talking about a plumber. There's kind of some other things that have been rattling around in my head. Talking about fear. Betsy and I were having a little back and forth about fear and our relationship to it. And uh, that kind of touches in on some sense of uh, what Stephen was uh, expressing, anxiety, you know, kind of how the world is kind of anxiety. Um, So often what I'll do is I'll just kind of get into a a state uh, for writing, you know, sometimes it's as simple as just, oh, I actually have time to do that. and in this case, I have uh, uh, something to write on, this little iPad here, which I don't know if I brought into the floor. I have a little iPad here. And uh, I have a cup of tea, some cushions, got a fire going. Uh, soup is all pretty well cooked for eating later. And... Uh, So uh, what I'll normally do is I'll kind of get that space and then I'll just kind of uh, open into where my mind has been, uh, you know, over the last, you know, few weeks or a few moments, few hours, a uh, few years, per, I suppose. Uh, so I, you know, I was in my brain. I knew all that stuff I just listed off to you, but you didn't know I was uh, thinking about beavers or uh, cartilaginous depths or uh, remote healing sessions or fear uh, or source or story or storyteller so I kind of that's where I am and I create the physical space or the uh, the temporal space uh, also the temporal lobe space I suppose um and then I'll, uh, I'll sit to write. It isn't really that I have to, oh, I'm going to use this phrase, or I want to write about that idea. I'll just kind of, I know where I am, and I'll get the space, and then I'll just see what comes out. And I don't know if it'll be witty or brief or long, uh, or, uh, or bad, <laughs> although I, I can kind of bet that it'll be bad. Um, uh, 
and I don't know what form it'll take. Sometimes I, I, I start it, uh, and, uh, and then it, you know, it feels like it's not going anywhere, and uh, uh, I don't want to force it. I prefer the Wu Wei way, so I'll just stop. Uh, but these days it sort of saves for me, so maybe I'll go back and get sort of re-inspired by something that I had started. So, um, this just kind of, uh, this just kind of opened on something else that was open here. And, you know, the term numinous is here. And, uh, sacred, filled with the presence of the divinity. As I say this, by the way, the cat is climbing aboard. So, uh, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Filled with the presence of the divinity. And then Zaki's climbing on my back. What's up, buddy? Here you go. Come on. Hey, you're welcome to get on. Here he is. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's very good to be on TV, and there are no residuals for you. So I know you're upset about that. So I just kind of caught that term, numinous, but I don't know what will come of that. And I have this previous folder open, folder open, uh, where I can just sort of start typing and not get bogged down in the particulars of, uh, you know, creating a document. I just kind of have a document that has some other poetry on it. And uh, so I just made myself a little space. And now you guys know that I just brought the idea numinous in my head, but then there's a cat on my back. And um, some tea. So we're thinking about Steve and anxiety. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm going to show you after I type a bit or dictate as I type. I'm not really sure how that might work. And I don't know if I can comfortably move the screen to let you see my screen. I know sometimes. Uh, a streamed or video image of another screen doesn't work and at any rate the cat's on my back so I'm not going to move the camera and disturb them for now so this may be uh, the least interesting video of all time watching a man type bad poetry <laughs> my world is not my own lost it to you. I'm not thinking ahead. Did you steal it? Did I let go? Found my TLO. And then I'll do an ellipsis and I'll write soon the question mark so we have that double meaning. I'm just going back to add a period. This is not a um, um, a great word processing thing, so a lot of times it'll do capitalization where I don't intend it and so forth. And if I'm flowing and I want to get it right then and interrupt the flow, I'll just try and go back, and it's quite rapidly obvious to me what I wanted to uh, capitalize, for example. Or... Uh, I kind of like this. I wrote, did I let it go? And for whatever reason, the singular letter I, which is the word I, uh, did not get capitalized. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking, uh, I like that. Your world is still... encumbered by but that's bothering me or I had an extra moment to type because I didn't know where I was headed with that so I went back and decapitalized uh, made lowercase the E and encumbered
There we go. I, I want it back. I want you gone. I want it back the way it was. The way my story is. Probably not a word, but I like it. I have to go back now because it turned the word were into we are or like a contraction <laughs> contraction well, I like this word play of the sacred when I write the sweet sages uh, I'll read you what I have here in a moment. I'm just battling with the uh, the, the features of uh, this as a uh, of, as a uh, word processing situation. So I'm just kind of thinking how. You know, he, Steve, might be feeling, this is of course not what I know him to be feeling, or he shared with me, it's just a sense after meditating. My world is not my own. I've lost it to you. Did you steal it? Did I let it go too soon? Your world is still encumbered by the squatter. I want it back, which I'm going to add the exclamatory there. I want you gone. I want it back the way it was. And I want to see if I can italicize was, because in my head it's uh, emphasized differently. And this time I was able to italicize away. The way my stories were story told by sweet sages, by mindful minstrels, by childless children, by old to young. I think the next line is quite apparent. So we might have just come to the end of it, which I didn't see coming. I'm just going back and adding some periods and so forth. Uh, I felt the way. Oh, yeah, that's a period, but I see. I have to make this. Great video, right, everybody? <laughs> I, I don't know if you can still see the cat. It's not particularly lit for this all that well, but I'm getting a nice massage. Um, L5S1. If I move the camera, I can come back a little bit to the screen there. But I think we just came to the end of it, sort of all of a sudden. Probably what a roller coaster feels like, you know, just get into it and then, then it's over. And you have to wait in line for two hours. I just want to try and get these commas and periods and capitalizations right. Oh, I see. So that's a mistake. This is a uh, period goes here. And I need to do another italics, which again is riveting. Uh, 
uh, video production. I think I'm going to leave stories. I um, can't think of the word at the moment, but uh, uh, just when something happens, uh, sort of perfectly but unplannedly. Uh, anyway, I've got another capitalization thing that I kind of like. And, uh, okay, so. idea if you'll be able to see it, but there she is. Uh, I, I suppose I'll read it to you now, which will not likely be the same as performing it. So this is, um, you know, somebody's one of many talked about kind of the world shifting politically. And seeing the world change, and uh, you know them being uh, fearful and anxious and frustrated, and uh, I don't know, perhaps despondent, uh, maybe angry. Um, and uh, you know, I'm sure that there's some element of uh, you know, what am I supposed to do to heal myself? Uh, how can I be politically effective? You know right, your congressperson, or what have you, march, you know, run for office, whatever it may be, uh, none of, uh, the last of which are not questions I'm going to answer, I'm not my role. I was uh, talking to a doctor friend today, and we were comparing notes about our day, and he said, uh, uh, I help people to live today, and I said, well, that's very interesting. Um, profound, beautiful, necessary, uh, important. And I said, uh, I helped people to have a life today. It's a different type of work. I don't save any lives, uh, but I save some living, maybe. Um, and so I imagine that there's some thought about, you know, how can I get healthy? Or how can I develop tools, you know, like meditation or that sort of thing uh, to get me through this? How can I behave politically? I'm kind of feeling like maybe the thought is, you know, um, I want things to return how they were. And I've been thinking about fear and anxiety in stories. Uh, I don't think the beavers got in this or the bones. Uh, but here we are. So I'll read it. Uh, this is not my voice. I'm imagining somebody's voice, so... My world is not my own. I've lost it to you. Did you steal it? Did I let go too soon? Your world is still encumbered by the squatter. I really want to rhyme squatter somehow. But I don't think I'll go back and do it. But if it occurs to me, it might just happen in my subconscious. It might erupt. Uh, gently erupt and then I might come back and add that but your world is still encumbered by the squatter I want it back I want you gone I want it back the way it was the way my stories were story told by sweet sages by mindful minstrels by childless children by old to young I want it back I want me back the way I was the way I felt the way I came to believe I was I want me back the way only our stories preserve me, numinously. I was just as I was kind of writing the, you know, getting back to I just want me back, which is really the point of the story. You know, I was just like, oh, that's how it was, numinous. And that was that word that had been on me. So this is pretty cool. I just got to the end of the poem, and uh, Saki decided to settle in uh, rather than massage me. Just as I got to the end, he settled. I can feel his weight shift. It's pretty cool. And I just noticed one uh, error here in terms of uh, punctuation. Uh, there we go. Let me just uh, uh, make that lowercase here. So I guess I'm going to, I don't title all my poems, but I'm going to title this one. And 
I'm not sure how Facebook does this. Um, but if this is saved, th this live stream thing, maybe I can post the poem with the title in the comments or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but... Hmm. I'm thinking about another word. A lot of times a little bit of wordplay gets me started to, to write. I'm kind of thinking of the double meaning of the word temper. You know, just to sort of to soothe, to add, to, to add the rudder. But then also a temper suggests uh, not that at all. I kind of like that, that thought of that wordplay. But I think uh, since we're here, we may uh, see if something else comes out. which it may, it may not. Can keep that same formula. Uh, but uh, I had kind of started to write, you know, the fear and anxiety and looking politically in the stories that we tell, you know, how we rewrite our histories. And uh, I sort of consciously forgot about the numinous thing and then just right all of a sudden you just round the corner and the, the ride is over and then numinously and I wrote, I want to be how I came to believe I was, you know, through the stories. Uh, when I wrote stories, I was thinking songs and, and other versions, you know, plays and other ways of doing stories. Uh, but the poem got ahead of me. And uh, so I didn't explicate the different types of stories that I visualized. So I think we're just left with the, the word story, which is repeated a few times. Um... But uh, I wrote sweet sages as a double meaning because uh, I could have given the sage any honorific or appellation, you know. Uh, but I was thinking more of the cosmogony of uh, uh, a ceremonial, a ritualized uh, cleansing before a world begins, whether a remembered world here or a new world. So I kind of started that list of who tells the stories with the sweet sages uh, for that double meaning. Uh, oh, thank you. Never written a poem <laughs> in a street before. <laughs> uh, I suppose uh, we can all thank the ducky. Yeah, I think I think probably the ducky was a big part of this. Thank you, Darren, for the ducky love. Hi, Saki. So it's interesting that this whole meditation is kind of, or this whole poem is sort of, uh, you know, fear and anxiety, thinking uh, the uh, the yin organs that are related to those are the kidney and spleen and Saki is resting on my kidney and spleen that's where he settled in it's kind of interesting so let's see what we get here <clears throat> figure I'll just check in If I'm going to write something else, that's the, I think the title of this live stream was, you know, uh, specifically for Steve. Uh, so I'm guessing I should uh, write another one. Uh, he had expressed to me that he'd like to study, but uh, he's out of state. It's hard to do, so I'm just kind of shifting my mind into that idea. Uh, somebody that... Uh, not near where they can study.
so I'll probably have to go back and do some capitalization, but more uh, and punctuation and copy edit stuff. Like for example, I wrote from, but I must have typed form, so that stood out. I don't think I'm liking this one as much, but it doesn't matter. I'm just adding periods at the end of these lines here. Which again, is probably why I'm not in television. I don't know what makes a good video. But I, right? You okay, Saki? You alright back there, buddy? Yeah, okay. I guess he's alright. I just had a little start. No matter the nearness. Oh, there's capitalization. This is why the writer writes alone and presents sometime later after editing. No matter the nearness, we're all too far from our teachers. Some are homesick from school this day. Some are long since retired. Some are cold in the ground. I think I want a comma there. Or ceramic away somewhere, ashes to ashes. Add a little semicolon there. Or ceramic away somewhere, ashes to ashes. And that ellipsis only has two dots, so any an ellipsis. Some have moved on. Some were never close enough to properly become our teachers. Some we know only from books, from songs. I think I'm just going to repeat that, or a version of that first line. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, and then it spell-checked into some other word, which I guess is French, I don't know. Some place, Farnes, it looked like. I'm just trying to get it to capitalize the way I want, which is desperately difficult in this app, at least as far as I understand it. It took a lot to write the contraction we are, <laughs> no matter the farness. I don't know if I like this couplet at the end, but I like the word couplet, so there I said it. So the last two bits here that you saw me type, which I guess means it's the end of the poem. So the start of the, I guess I'll show it to you like I did before. Let's see. I really have no idea if you can see it, because I can't see the screen I'm showing you. Well, I could try holding it here and seeing. It's probably giving you guys seasickness the way I'm holding it. No matter the nearness, we're all too far from our teachers. Some are homesick from school this day. Some are long since retired. Some are cold in the ground or ceramic away somewhere, ashes to ashes. Some have moved on. Some were never close enough to properly become our teachers. Some we know only from books from songs. 
no matter the farness, we're each as close to our teachers as we are to the teachings. Teachers need us to reach out. Teachings are always in reach. That's what we got. There's a bunch of little bit of wordplay in there which I'm digging. Uh, but I don't know if that was making you seasick. You know. So I didn't hold it up long enough to figure that out. I'm just looking at something to see if capitalizing it would make the most sense. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't really like the part about properly, you know, kind of mean it to mean sort of official, but I don't know if I really like that. I'm not quite ready to hit sort of enter save, although this is cloud-based, so it's already saved, but... Yeah, I think we got it. There we go. Okay, I think I'm a little bit happier, which of course is relative. I just want to really float this sentence out separately so it visually looks quite a bit different if I can tab it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So, that's the second one. So this is kind of uh, about sort of being in that place. Oh, I see Mamoru. Uh, the last two lines. I'll read the whole thing, you know. No matter the nearness, we're all too far from our teachers. Some are homesick from school this day. Some are long since retired. Some are cold in the ground. Or ceramic away somewhere. Ashes to ashes. Some have moved on. Some were never near enough to become close enough to become our teachers. I'm going to change that to be. Some we know only from songs. Oh, sorry. That's some we know only from books. From songs. No matter the farness, we're each as close to our teachers as we are to the teachings. Teachers need us to reach out. Teachings are always in reach. So I kind of like the reach out, in reach play there. But kind of like isn't quite the same as actually am uh, overjoyed about it. But I'm not really feeling. I feel a little bit like I was kind of going down a raft and... Uh, bottomed out, so the river's technically going. It's still wet, but I ain't much going anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, kind of feel now that that little bit of an urge to uh, wrestle with this one. But I think I'm just going to let it rest in the subconscious and do what I can to keep myself in this space, uh, uh, both both physical and uh, 
mind space. And uh, and then uh, and then see if uh, subconsciously can I come to something revelatory about that piece. But I'm not interested in having created a poem. That's not the point. It's just to be writing, to stay in the space. Uh, much like in meditation, I don't think that the point should be to, you know, to get enlightened or, or, to, or to, you know, heal your elbow or, or whatever. It's just to be in that space. You know. It's like walking somewhere and going for a walk, you know. Going for the walk is what, what we're about here. Uh, you might very well arrive somewhere, that's fine. Uh, but you can't be waylaid when you're going for a walk. And you can't make yourself late by stopping to look at a rock. <laughs> and I just, on another document, just saw the word Newman. The might of a deity or divinity, N U M E N. Starting to think about writing another. I don't know if anybody's staying with me or not. I don't know if this actually tells me who's watching or. I mean, the comments. The comments show up. I don't know if there may be a count or something. I don't really pay attention to it. But I think I'm gonna write just a little bit more. Yeah, I just I tried to write king. I tried to write if and it and it spell checked the king. I don't know what that is. I just tried three times to type a word without a capital letter, but it doesn't. 
doesn't like it. So I don't know where this one is going. Unfortunately, now I'm trying to write something in Latin, which uh, doesn't <laughs> bode well for spell check. But what are you going to do? I think I'm going to try and italicize that. Since it's another language. No, at the moment I'm thinking of Trevor Hall. arguments with Baba and both in Karoli Baba I suppose on one so I just kind of had a thought here about this So, this one will need a spell check, but I'm just kind of thinking about the idea here and now. You know, sort of, uh, and I just came up with the title of it. So I'm going to bolt face that and see how she goes. I think this one's, uh, I'm going to keep writing. feels like there's a whole lot more that's going to come out. Why is there all that there is? That the point of it all is to be only but here. To be ever only here. To be only but now. To be ever only now. Why is there all that there is? If, if, if he get nunc here and now, but why the hierogamy? of the two, if what they point to, what they insist, what they demand I see, is not we, but I. I'm just going to add some uh, commas and such.
That's a little bit better. somebody's caught up in that all right I'm here it's now I'm present you know by the way I don't know where the camera is so I probably keep looking off at the corner I don't know exactly where the camera is maybe it's over here let's see I suppose I could learn it oh I guess the camera's right there so that's where I should probably look I probably appear to be looking right at you but as soon as I go to see I'm looking somewhere else. I was kind of thinking, you know, if somebody's in that now, you know, what would be the point of everything outside the now, outside the here? And why is like all that there? You know, why isn't all of existence just a point? Size a couple words so that we know that we're talking about the word rather than using the word, which I suppose I could do by uh, apostrophing them. I just have to go back and make that a question mark. Why the horizon? Why the there? The then? Why not have all of existence exist in a point, if that is the point, here and now? So kind of, I like that a little bit better. I still feel like there's more that will be headed out. So, reason the searching in this is not quite working I'm going to restart the app it could be that the app is just updating okay so I think that's that's it. I'll let you have a look. I'm going to turn since Saki's not on me. Let's see if I can lazy the screen a little bit better than I had shown you previously. So there it is. Again, I don't know if it's particularly clear. But you can read it yourself, perhaps. It's a strange angle because the iPad's fixed on its stand and the camera. I'm showing this is another iPad on a tripod, so I can't kind of change the angle too much. But 
Anyway, you got an idea. Actually, while I'm doing this, I could scroll it down and let you see how we changed the layout on the previous one. Uh, where it kind of floated uh, this line off to the side and the end of the line we kind of left uh, all by its lonesome over here. That's the end of uh, riveting poetry writing hour, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, this is for Stephen in the face of uh, the challenged way that we see the world. Uh, and uh, our challenge, of course, is to uh, consciously develop the method by which we see the world. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Us meaning uh, the ducky, the kitty, and the poetry.